You go into your local running shoe store. There you're faced with a wall of shoes. How do you know where to start? My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider and I'm a podiatrist in Houston, Texas. Although my primary job is to keep your feet out of pain, it's vital that I'm familiar with the latest running shoes and technology in order to make sure you stay pain free. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the three basic varieties of running shoes and how to know which is the right one for you. Before I do, let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find this information. I wrote a book all about running shoes, how to choose them and how to properly fit them. You can order it for free at www.runningshoebook.com. Color, style, fit, size, function. These are just a few of the variables that you need to take into consideration when buying a new running shoe. And the companies don't make it easy. They often update their shoes at least once a year. For the more popular shoes, they may be updated two and even three times a year. And when I say update, that can range from new colors or designs to an entirely new and different shoe while keeping the same name. There was a popular running shoe that has since been discontinued. They all had the same name, but the shoe was really defined by the model number. It became well known that the odd model numbers were one shoe and the even model numbers designated an entirely different shoe. This became incredibly frustrating until the consumers understood what to look for. So in their efforts to simplify the shoe buying process, manufacturers inadvertently complicate and confuse the matters. When choosing the right running shoe, there are a number of factors to consider. There's a misunderstanding among many people that you could run in any athletic shoe, but that's not the case. You want to buy a shoe specifically designed for running. Running shoes are designed to provide support, but also break in the right way to keep the pressure off your foot. Next, you have to think about brand. Some brands have certain idiosyncrasies about them. For instance, Nike typically runs very narrow. Saucony is known for their straight last. New Balance comes in a variety of widths, making it the go-to shoe for the hard to fit foot. Asics and Brooks are reliable workhorses, although the companies like to change their models pretty often. You also may consider a specialty running shoe. These depend on your running style and aren't right for everyone. They include Hoka, which is a well-cushioned and supportive shoe, Ultra, which is a zero drop shoe where the forefoot is wide to allow the toes to spread out. Newton shoes have a lug in the midfoot and is designed for runners who strike on their midfoot or forefoot. I'm going to discuss each of those shoes in future videos later this month. Finally, you need to choose your running shoe based on your foot type. Most running shoes come in three varieties, neutral, stability, and motion control. If you have a stable foot, you want to be in a stability running shoe. These shoes are designed to support a foot that is mechanically efficient. It allows for the proper amount of pronation. If you have a flat foot, you need to have more control over the mechanics. For those people, I recommend a motion control running shoe. If, however, you wear a custom orthotic, that changes things. The orthotic makes your foot function in a more efficient way. So with an orthotic, you should go with a stability shoe. That's because you're taking a foot with hypermobile mechanics and influencing it with the orthotic to function like a foot with stable mechanics. If you have a high arched foot, you need a shoe that offers more shock absorption. That's because a high arched foot is rigid and doesn't have sufficient shock absorption on its own. If you have a high arch foot, you should look into wearing a neutral running shoe. If you wear an orthotic, in this case, it doesn't change things. An orthotic doesn't add any extra shock absorption. So even with a custom orthotic, you should stay in a neutral running shoe. When you're sizing your shoes, don't rely on the number. Shoes in general don't have a consistent sizing convention. 
For instance, I wear a 12 and a half in ASICS, but a 13 in Brooks. Further complicating matters, I wear a 12 in a regular street shoe. That's why it's important to go by fit. When sizing your running shoes, you should have the width of your index finger between your longest toe and the end of the shoe while you're standing. This will prevent your toes from pissing into the end of the shoes. In terms of width, you're looking for the widest shoe that will stay on your foot. You don't want your foot lifting out of the shoe or moving independently within the shoe. You need to have a proper fit. It's important not to wear a shoe that's too small for you. Wearing a small shoe can increase the possibility of toenails that turn black and fall off. They also are at risk of blistering. Furthermore, a tight shoe can put pressure on the nerves in your forefoot and can aggravate them, which will cause the pain in the ball of your foot. Another way to combat wearing a shoe that is too tight is to shop for your running shoes in the evening. Your feet naturally swell over the course of the day. If you buy your shoes early in the day, they'll get tighter as the day wears on. Try to shop for your running shoes after 4 p.m. Finally, don't buy your shoes for looks. You may find the perfect color combination, but if the shoes don't fit and function properly, you're going to be miserable. Find a well-fitting shoe that is right for your foot type and gait. Then check out the colors that shoe's available in. In next week's video, I'm going to discuss the most common traditional running shoes and how to decide if they're the right shoes for you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. I wrote a book all about running shoes, how to choose them, and how they should properly fit. You can order it for free at www.runningshoebook.com. The link is in the description. If you're not sure that your current running shoes is the best fit for you, let me take a look. I'll watch you walk and run in the shoes and we'll let you know my thoughts. Don't hesitate to contact the office for an appointment. That link is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.